Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking updates from the 25th International AIDS Conference, also known as AIDS 2024. The event was packed with scientific breakthroughs, community-led innovations, and powerful activism all coming together under the theme. Put people first. Let's explore some key takeaways. Section 1. Cure. The conference set a historic tone with a special pre-conference session featuring three individuals known to have been cured of HIV, Adam Castilejo, Mark Frankie, and Paul Edmonds. Their inspiring stories were a call to action for researchers and those living with HIV to continue striving for a universal cure. We also learned about a possible seventh person cured of HIV, a 60-year-old man who underwent a stem cell transplant for leukemia in 2015 and has remained in HIV remission for over five years. What's unique is that this patient's donor had a single Kefra 5 Delta 32 mutation, a genetic factor linked to HIV resistance. This finding could open new doors for more scalable gene therapy-based cures. Section 2, Long-Acting Technologies. Winnie Bayanima, Executive Director of the United Nations Joint Program on HIV-AIDS, UNAIDS, described Gilead's twice-yearly injectable lenisapivir for HIV prevention as a miracle prevention tool. The Purpose One trial showed that lenacapavir offered 100 protection against HIV in cisgender women, compared to a 1-2 acquisition rate among those using daily fat AF or FET, DFAF or FET, DFE. However, activists raised concerns about the high cost of lenacapavir, especially for low- and middle-income countries. There's hope that prices could drop with research and development investments, increase demand and the production of generic versions. As outgoing international aides, Society President Sharon Lewin emphasized, breakthroughs in medicine are only meaningful when the people who need those medicines can access them. Cost remains a major barrier, particularly for long-acting injectables like Cabla, which is popular but still out of reach for many. Section 3. Leadership Policy and Funding Funding cuts are a significant hurdle in the fight against HIV. UNAIDS reports that international resources for HIV in 2023 were nearly 2023 were nearly 2020-2013. We need an additional USD 9.5 billion by 2025 to sustain HIV programs in low and middle income countries. The conference saw strong commitments from leaders, including German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who announced Germany's support for the Global Partnership for Action to Eliminate All Forms of HIV, Related Stigma and Discrimination by 2030. Section 4. AIDS is still with us. Despite significant progress, we still face challenges in meeting the UNAIDS 2030 targets. The number of new HIV cases has decreased globally, but there are still 1.3 million new infections annually, far above the 2025 target of 370,000. Additionally, 630,000 people died from AIDS, related illnesses in 2023. A study highlighted the severe human and economic costs of failing to meet these targets, including millions of new HIV cases and AIDS, related deaths by 2050. Section 5, Doxyprep and Doxypep. The conference introduced Doxyprep, Doxycycline Pre-Exposure Prophylaxis, alongside the already known Doxypep, Doxycycline Post, Exposure Prophylaxis. Studies showed promising reductions in STIs among different groups, including men who have sex with men and female sex workers. However, Concerns about antimicrobial resistance, AMR, with prolonged doxycycline use highlight the need for ongoing research and monitoring. Section 6. Stigma, Discrimination, and Criminalizations Stigma and discrimination remain major obstacles to HIV care. Data from 33 African countries revealed that stigma reduces engagement at every stage of HIV care. The legal environment, especially in countries with laws criminalizing LG butt relationships, further complicates access to HIV services. In places like Uganda and Ghana, anti-LGUTQ laws have led to increased discrimination and violence. Nonetheless, local communities and health workers are finding ways to maintain access to HIV services through innovative and discreet methods. That's a wrap on our key takeaways from AIDS 2024. It's clear that while we've made significant strides, there's still much work to be done. Let's continue to advocate for access, equity, and the rights of all people living with HIV. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on health awareness. If you have subscribed now, congratulations. You are among the 1.5% people who takes their health seriously. If you are not following us, you may not see us again. And until we meet again, stay healthy 